Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. There's a brand new modeling study out about the effect of global warming on wheat yields. Researchers from 13 worldwide institutes worked on the study, which finds that under 2 degrees Celsius warming, elevated carbon dioxide fertilization will compensate for the increased warming stresses, resulting in a 1.7% increase in global wheat yields. They say there's going to be a very small and precise 1.7% increase in global wheat yields. But had any of these researchers bothered to actually look at the data, they would have known that wheat yields have tripled around the world over the past 60 years. The rate of increase has been fairly linear and is orders of magnitude larger than what the researchers from these 13 global institutes predicted. Based on the historical evidence, there's very good reason to believe that wheat yields will continue to increase at a rapid rate. If the growth in wheat yields was slowing down, we would see a downwards curvature, but that does not exist in this graph. There's no scientific or historical basis to this modeling study. They created a garbage in, garbage out computer model. These academics probably received large amounts of grant money to create a study which could be debunked with just 10 seconds of online research. The study is typical of the corrupt and decrepit state of climate science. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on these scamsters for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Kyrie, Caesar, Tokianupala on the web at realclimatescience.com.